contract between the United States government and you and I. And we no longer go by the Constitution. Ron Paul is the Constitution. That is his reputation. Uh, he is very consistent. Uh, for the past, at least for the past 10 years, probably longer than that, he, the, the, um, the issues that he speaks on, small government, getting down to an honest monetary system, he's been speaking on for over 10 years. There, there used to be a, uh, a country song back in the early 80s by uh, a singer named Barbara Mandrell who sang a song called, I Was Country When Country Wasn't Cool. Well, Ron Paul has been speaking about wanting to audit the Federal Reserve for the past 10 years. Ron Paul has been speaking about how the Social Security system is nothing more than a Ponzi scheme for the past 10 years. Now we are starting to hear about how we need to audit the Federal Reserve. And we're starting to hear about how the Social Security system is a Ponzi scheme. Ron Paul was speaking about that before it was cool. He has been right all along. He has been consistent all along. You never hear anybody talking about Ron Paul being a flip-flop. How, you know, four years ago he believed this, and now he's saying this. You never see on the news where they're bringing up different uh, highlight films of Ron Paul in, in 2004 where he's saying one thing, and then in 2008 he said something different, and now in 2011 he's saying something completely different. You don't see that with Ron Paul. With Ron Paul, you're going to get a consistent person. You know what you have. There's no, there's no guesswork to him. He's very honest. He's very straightforward. And he's very honorable. He's the, I may be wrong on this here, but he is the only, um, only congressperson that I'm aware of that has uh, declared he will not accept retirement when he retires. So when he goes back to Texas, uh, he won't be accepting a, reti a congressional retirement check. He's not in it for the money. He's in it because he loves he loves our country, our country, and he loves our Constitution. And uh, we've taken our eyes off the Constitution. You know, I mean, I don't have enough time up here just to talk about all the crazy pieces of legislation that we passed over the past ten years. You know, and we can all sit here and say, yeah, that's that's unconstitutional. That's against the Fourth Amendment. You know, that's you know what happened to the Bill of Rights. Well, there's only one candidate that we have that is consistent with the Bill of Rights, and that's Ron Paul. And that's why I'm asking you, if you haven't already decided to vote for Ron Paul, to do a little bit of homework on him. Don't just listen to the media, because the media's not really going to tell you a whole lot about him. But do your homework on him. Find out who he is, find out how he's voted, and you'll find out that Ron Paul is the most consistent candidate that we have, and he is the true constitutionalist candidate that we have. And if, once people start realizing that, and people are now, people starting to realize that. That's why he's not, he's no longer on the bottom of the poll. You know, right now he's uh, he's polling second in Iowa, and I believe he's polling second in New, in New Hampshire. So uh, you know, take a look at it. You know, if, if you believe as I do that we need to get back to the Constitution, Ron Paul is your candidate. Thanks a lot. Very good. Campaigns that want to speak? Oh, Any other presidential Good campaigns? Job.